Hi, this is Wayne, 20 BVJ, that's Bravo Victor Juliet, in a video to demonstrate how to uh, update the G90 uh, correctly. As it is at the minute, my radio is off totally. Uh, I haven't even got my power supply switched on yet. So what I'm going to do now, uh, as I don't need to have the radio on at this point, or you shouldn't have it on I should say, click on Terra Turn move down to the uh, the exit file and open it and as you can see it's recognized my uh, usb lead as well so plug that into the serial port uh, now go to setup serial port baud rate 115200 and that's it now at this point i'm going to switch my power supply on all right now i'm going to update the radio so what I have to do is press a lot, keep the space bar pressed down and power the radio on. And as you can see in the mess in the display there, the window, it says uh, it's a key view onto a bar and what have you, but you don't. You press the number one key and as you can see, it, it's updating. The display is off also. So just wait till this ends now. And then uh, we'll update the uh, the body part first. Right, that's that done. So what I need to do now is go into uh, File, Transfer, X Mode, and Send. Right at this point, you will see uh, a little uh, option box there in the left. Make sure this is ticked. Uh, because if you don't, it'll stop halfway through, and you have to start all over again. Now my uh, Firmware files are on my desktop. So I'll scroll down to desktop. There it is. And then scroll down to find my file. G90 update. And as you can see, that these are the two. Uh, this one here and this one here are, are the files I need. So that's the main unit. So now I, uh, I, cl uh, I click on the uh, main unit and it comes up in the file name there. Click open. And as you can see, the file is updating uh, great there. So we'll just wait for that to, pre uh, to finish. And hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Again, the head of the radio, uh, the display is not on. Well, we're almost there, three quarters. Right, that, that's the uh, update done of the uh, the body. So I'm going to close Terra Turn and that. And then what I'm going to actually do before I do the head, I'm going to switch the power supply off. So I'll just move that down. Right, that's my power supply off. Now I'm going to remove the USB update lead And plug it into the COM port, uh, the human interface device on uh, socket on, on the side of the head. Right. Now again, open Terra Turn. Open Terra Turn. Come on. Turn it. That's it. As again, click serial port, COM3. Okay, now for the head setup, serial port, change the bot rate, rate to 11.5200, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to switch the, uh, the radio on and remove the old uh, firmware. So power supply on, press the space bar. If you can see it, and press the head. That's it. Right. Now, on the board, right? As you can see, the display is still completely off. Right. And now press number one. And it's erasing the software for the head. Or the firmware, sorry. Right, that's that done. So now I'm going to move over to file. Transfer. 
transfer X modem, send. Again, important, tick the 1K box. Go to your download folder, where you put it, your firmware, and now the display unit. As you can see, it's put it in the file name there. Click open. Right, and when that goes to near the end, I'm going to, I'll do that now. As you can see, the display is still off, which is the correct uh, way. But when, when this update's finished, it's 60 odd percent now, the radio should power on. There you go, that's the firmware update completed. I hope that was easy to follow for you, but uh, that's this is the correct way to do it. So I wish you all 7-3, this is Wayne 20BVJ, after another un untrolled video there. Alright, 7-3.